thought I'd sun myself in the garden today. So the sun goes in. <laughs> uh, there's a few clouds around. Let me just point there you are. in the general direction. But maybe blue skies today. So. But it's been lovely. It has. It's been a busy day. Mm. You've been pressure washing at Dad's, haven't you, for him? I have. And, and we then... have the, uh, the punters something to show them. We did a video about it where I got cut to shreds. Oh, right, yeah. Now, yeah. well, it's all been a bit remodelled. Yeah, it has. Yeah. Shall we show them? Go on then. Okay. Your okay. video, you tell them all about it. Oh, <laughs> dearie me, <laughs> I'm, get, I'm getting old. <laughs> so, my first day there, look. How's that? Right, well, follow me then. <laughs> so remember the dark, murky area that I absolutely hated that was so untidy? No longer is it dark and murky and untidy. No. It was a lot of hard work. Mr R worked really, really, really hard on it, didn't you, and got cut to shreds. Yeah, there was a lot going on here. Um, we obviously had the monkey puzzle tree, which has gone to a friend now, um, in a bigger garden where it needs to be. Bamboo got moved, the second bamboo got given away. I've just noticed that that bamboo has gone yellow. Um, so it may not have liked being moved. Uh, it's had a shock, so we'll yeah. give it some time. Yeah, give it some time. It's all been fed and everything, yeah. so the whole area has been fed. And the eucalyptus tree came out because it was just, well... Well, it was it crazy. Was trying to get back to the soil again. Yeah, it was crazy, <laughs> it was following wasn't it? the sun, it just bent straight over. Yeah. So we've got a bit of a gap there now. But yeah. when the bamboo gets bigger, yeah. it should be okay. It'll cover it, yeah. But there's so much more light here now. You took all the ivy off the fence didn't you mm -hmm. there and there yep oh, raised the tree canopy and over there so yeah we've got quite a lot of light coming in here now the olive tree loves it i've given it a really big haircut what and else now i've got the paint well the fence sprayer out because it'll yeah. soon be time to paint the fence yeah that'll need doing soon won't it so we've filled it, we've managed to fill the garden, borrowing plants from everywhere else, really. Yeah. I can't remember what we've moved, can you? The yellow. Euonymus, that's moved um, from the over Hebe there. Hebe moved across but didn't move out of the border. No, that's um, right. The daisies moved across. Yeah. The astilbe, which was beautiful and snowy white, but it looks as if it's going over now until next year but that was beautiful and, and I and I found another a still be which is that little sad looking thing just there next to it but it it was hidden underneath the hydrangea so I, it's not flowered I don't know what color it is but hopefully next year it will be all right and the hostas were hidden under the other side of the garden yeah under the hostas my bush. yeah absolutely so all in all, all in all, we've oh that came from out of one of the pots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so we emptied a lot of the pots. Yeah, because a lot of these were pot bound. It, it's it's done all right. That's new. And that's a pink Veronica with the spikes. I think it's bubble gum. I think that's what it's called. So you can actually see the peach tree now. So yeah. yeah. Cut the ivy back as well. Oh Trim yeah, that down. just here you did. Yeah. Yeah. Let some more light in. That little bit there needs cutting off because it's just hanging, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, no, and then that needs topping again. But yeah, the garden. I'm so so pleased with the garden yeah, now. It just looks nice. really nice. And, and we added a few bits in here that we stole. <laughs> so things that were in place. pots was what's the tree? Uh, that's the lilac tree. So that came across. Yeah, that was um, in a pot. That's now in the garden. The conifer bush came from the other side. Yep, from over there. I'll give it a little bit more room to grow. Yep. Yeah, I think you moved the hebe, didn't the hebe you, across? across yeah. 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 And that came from the other side as well. The um, conifer globe thing. Yeah. Or did you just say that? Just said that. All right. <laughs> um, and the spray off that massive, great big. I think it's a crab apple tree. Um, chop that to ground level with the chainsaw. 
killed the blade, but anyway, besides the point. Yeah. So yeah, this side's coming along pretty yeah. good. Yeah, it's looking nice. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, not looking so nice, the dirty washing on there. Yeah, sorry about <laughs> that, but needs must, it is garden. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was me pressure washing this morning. Yeah. yeah, another video. And I have hacked back my Japanese maple. Yes. And next to get the hatchet is the unruly bush. Yeah. If you're going to get the um, step ladder to do that, I really need to do those brownie bits off the top, but I couldn't reach. But yeah, I've taken about a metre off that side and I've lifted the crown as well. So it does look better. It's still massive though, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, I think when your bush is tamed, <laughs> It will look better, but it does. It needs shaping, doesn't it? It needs a good hack, definitely. It does. And yeah, we're hosts, as it were, there, we just showed over the other side. So it's a little bit less cluttered underneath now. Yeah. Still yeah, the big one was underneath at the yeah. back, wasn't it? So it, hostas, it wasn't though. really seen, so. Yeah, and that gap there was where the colifer came out of, wasn't it? Yeah, that's yeah, right. Was. Mm. Yeah, and I've put an Astrantia I've wanted one of these for a while now, so I thought, right, I've got a gap, I'm going to get one. So there we are, and that's another one of those little baby pink Veronicas. Just there. Yeah. yeah. And this bit hasn't changed an awful lot, just a few little bits been moved. Yeah, just bits and bobs. There's a conifer there which we keep touring with getting rid of. Well, moving, well, moving. I'm not going to get rid not of it. Not getting rid of, rather. Yeah. Moving. And the lupins. We've gone looping. Oh, the lupins are looking so... This is probably their best year. Yeah. If you can hear the noise, I apologise, but neighbours are washing cars and things as it's the weekend. And sunny. And sunny, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with the lupins. And look, my... Um, Agapanthus is coming along, so are these. This was a bargain buy because it's got three buds on it. So for one plant in a little pot, that's not done too bad at all. Yeah. And we're borrowing a clematis from next door. Look, the purple one is coming over the fence from next door. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, matching in with our... Well, with our pink one that pink is no more. Pink and white, this, yeah, it's gone over there. And, I think finally, the hanging baskets. Again, they've done really well this year. Yeah, they're still doing well. Well, they should do until September, October time. They should keep going. Yeah. The trouble is, the petunias take over and you can't actually see the lavender geranium that's in there. And it's a double, so it's a shame. You have to turn it around a bit. Yeah, I could do, I could turn it to the front. Yeah, yeah could do, yeah. Yeah. And? And here. Yeah. I had to buy that because the one that was in there died. It's a pretty blood red one. And this is called? A colour lily. Mm. There's a particular model. <laughs> Go on, fetch the label out. No, just this colour lily. Yeah. It's just an unusual colour. Yeah, well, I didn't think it was red. I thought it was more of a raspberry pink, but I think you might be right. And then this is the calla lily that I was growing. So I think that's white, white. And another lupin, purple one. And another dahlia hidden away. Another hanging basket. And another <laughs> hanging basket. This one never does quite as well as the other side, but that gets a couple more hours sun every day on the other side than this one. But it's doing well. I'm still happy with it. No tomatoes yet, though. No tomatoes yet, and I haven't had any flowers yet, but I think these are flowers coming. Mm. So I think it will fruit. Yeah. And this one here... <laughs> um, when I was moving them or potting them, I managed to somehow snap a top off. So I, I put it in a cup of water and it rooted. And that is, I did see flowers on there, look. So even 
should even get um, tomatoes on there. Um, you've had strawberries. And I've tried one and it was lovely. Really, really tasty. Yeah. And you know, this colour lily started to come up. There was another one at the back that started as well. What are you eating, Ted? What you found? Yeah. A bit of wood, but looks like Probably, it. yeah. <laughs> so that's dark. it, really. All in all, everything's doing really well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And the Buds on this back. dahlia. Yeah. One more one, that one. Day Buds on this dahlia. Mm -hmm. And these, oh, I can't remember what it's called. They don't flower until the back end. Hibiscus. Hibiscus, that's what it is. And they flower sort of back end, really. So, yeah. And yeah, the grass is there you go. pretty decent. And, and you've just added something to the back of the fence? Yeah, so I bought some Groupons, some cheap lights. <laughs> <laughs> so they're there. They're quite good, actually. They, uh, they glow dim all night, but they are PIR as well. So if I do that, there you go, they've got a nice dim glow, but they've also got, oh, just saw it. Let me do that again. The PIR makes them brighter. Damn. Shiny. <laughs> <laughs> and I've just fed the lawn and I have thrown a few more grass seeds down. So we'll see how it does. Mm. But it is getting there. These bright green patches that you can see every so often, do you know what they're from? Mushrooms. No. What? I bought some patch magic for doing patching in grass when you get bare bits. Right. And they're just darker green than the rest of the grass. <laughs> but it's too expensive to do the whole lawn with it. <laughs> uh, maybe next year. Dig it up and rotivate it. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Yeah. But yeah, it's well, green. Right, you can get back to sunbathing now. The I think so. In. Well, I think it's time you made me a cocktail, actually. I'm just back from holiday and I'm missing my cocktails. So maybe you'd like to make me one. Maybe I wouldn't. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we could go and buy one then. Maybe I'll take you out and we'll find a cocktail bar. Yeah, maybe. That'd be nice. Was you working as a waitress in that bar? No, I was not working as a waitress in that cocktail bar. Oh, okay. Wasn't <laughs> you then? Wasn't me. Don't you want me? No. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Don't you want me? <laughs> anyway, enough of that rubbish. Enough of that rubbish, that's right, yeah. All right, so I hope you're enjoying the sunshine, everybody. Take care. We'll see you again soon. Bye.